Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to take a look at version 21.0 in the world of Monster Strike. It just dropped yesterday, so let's check it out. There's actually a good chunk of new stuff coming, so want to make sure you understand what's coming along here. So, the first and probably the biggest update of 21.0 is the fact that the Soul Badge uh, over here, Tamashi no Monsho, has been updated so that not only does it have a snazzy new UI, you can now pick two monsters per badge however it comes with a pretty hefty cost it does require you to unlock that second slot here on the right and to unlock that slot it costs 100,000 soul points to unlock it so for example if i wanted to unlock the water uh portion here you can do that but you saw that it did cost 100k um to do that now, you can see that um, the second slot is completely separated from the first, right? Where my first uh, slot... Oh, well, that's if you want to change. Uh, you can see my first slot here, right? All of those pre-created, pre-unlocked... Well, not pre-unlocked. I had to pay for them, of course. But um, you can see on the second slot that it is back to its original state where only one is locked and you will have to spend even more souls to unlock the second ones. And then, of course, setting the uh, abilities on the second slot also costs its own set of soul points. So hopefully you have a bunch stocked up because it will cost quite a lot to uh, unlock everything for all elements. I'm not even sure if you can do it um, off the bat, even if you had the max. So, um, And as you can see, the UI has been shifted. Um, you can change the monsters by tapping the individual um, uh, badges themselves and do note that you can now include monsters that are five star or less right so any of those collab monsters maybe that you really liked you can give them a uh, a badge now you can also give the you know monsters that are even less than uh, three oh, I don't have a water one that's but you know like the um, the kangaroo you could give him a badge too if you want um, even one star monsters you can give a badge I think I saw on on stream so um, pretty cool I know this is an update that people were hoping a lot for right because like of course I will always have a uh, Lorelei badge there so maybe some other water monster can actually have a chance to get a badge you know um, now if you want to change your abilities like you saw earlier you can of course use uh, click that button here and then switch between the two um, uh, monsters but you can also switch between elements here really quickly, which is really nice. Um, it was, you always had to go back to the previous menu to change elements. This is much easier now, so that's pretty cool. And of course, if you want to see what monsters are contributing to your luck, you can click the luck button there and you can see it that way. Again, instead of swiping between the different elements, you can just tap the different element and it'll come into view. So pretty cool update for the soul badges. Um, as noted, um, five star monsters are now assignable, but what is nice here is that you probably saw me doing it already, but you can actually use the sorting and filtering uh, options here to actually try and find which monsters you actually are looking for. You can also search by text if you know Japanese. Another uh, small update here is that the maximum souls that you see on the top right here. Um, up until now, the maximum was 999,999 souls. Now, the limit has been expanded to 1 billion, right? That's one and nine zeros. Um, now, however, do keep in mind that if you do hold more than 999,999 souls, the text will only show 999999 plus. So um, it's not going to show more than six digits, but you'll see that plus sign to give you an idea that you actually do have more than that. So. Um, if you actually do farm for souls, ooh, um, there you go. All right. Um, as was promised earlier in the year, uh, the friends maximum count has been expanded to 200. So if you, um, if you are still running out of friends that you need, well, good news. You can get 50 farm. Now also with this update comes with the uh, deprecation of the first friends feature if you remember how that worked um you had up to 50 of them where you could um if you were that first person to invite um not invite but to become friends with somebody else right they had the little newbie mark that yellow green uh triangle thing um you'd be first friends and that friend would actually be in a list excluding 
the 100 or the 150 limit that you had before, right? Uh, that has now been deprecated. All of those first friends have now been relegated back to being just a friend. Um, so you won't be able to have, you know, 250 friends, for example. Um, it's just going to be a flat 200. All right, so do keep that in mind. Now, along with this update is you probably saw in your missions list that you saw a bunch of new missions with friends. Um, pretty straightforward. If you can hit the threshold st stated on those missions, I think it was 140, 150, 160, 170, and 180 friends, um, you will get one orb for that. So that's a total of five orbs for um, getting some new friends. Um, now, I, there are, have been some notices online that the missions may not have been um, activating even though you're clearly past the, uh, um, the mark. Um, if that's the case, just you know, uh, add or delete a friend and it should kick the system to update. I don't know why that would happen, but apparently that's what they said. So, all right. Now, there is a new system available for the game. It is to invite new people to play the game. You'll see this new menu item in the friends menu. It is on the very top. And based on the number of days you've played in game and your current rank, it will classify you as either a senpai, which you'll see in yellow, which of course I'm in yellow there, or a newbie, you'll be in green there. And you can see the specifications there. A senpai is anybody who has rank 30 or higher and they have played for at least seven days in the game. If you are a newbie, that means you have a rank of 30 or less or you've played for less than seven days. So, um, when you go into here, you can um, start doing some uh, things. But let's start with the newbies first. So, because I don't actually have access to a, an account that can do this, so I'll have to rely on the screenshots here. But basically, when you click that first uh, menu item on the top, it'll have, of course, a green, like a sea green colored uh, label there, right? You might not be able to read the kanji, but you can tell color, hopefully. And hopefully green and yellow isn't a colorblind issue. But um, anyways, when you click that, you will be able to see your ID there immediately. It'll be where that white box is on that uh, screenshot, right? Um, basically, what you want to do is Give that ID to somebody. Now, if you're starting this game here, feel free to comment below with your ID and I will gladly take on you as one of my newbies for the new event. Um, but what you need to do next is once you give um, that person your ID, then that senpai needs to go in and, uh, you know, basically add you as a friend. Now, here's a warning. You can give your ID out to at most five senpais at a time, right? You cannot have more than five requests active. Well, actually, you can probably give it to many more, but only five requests are going to come in, right? So there is a limit from who you can choose. Now, of the requests that you get, you can choose one of them to be your senpai, right? Only choose one. Now, also keep in mind, if you wait too long, 24 hours, those requests will automatically be rejected. So don't wait too long. Don't keep your senpai waiting. Right? You can get some nice rewards, which we'll go over in a little bit. Now, for the senpais here, I'm sure most of you watching this video are going to have the senpai classification. But how this works is, um, you know, first, wait for a newbie to give you an ID. If they are around, they'll give you your ID. Put that ID here by clicking the blue button on the top. This is the menu item to say, okay, let me find that newbie and let me add them. Uh, once you do that, uh, you will be able to see this next screen where, okay, you have put in the request. Once they accept, they will show up in the top section of this UI, right? Right now it says um, there is no user that uh, that qualifies as being, you know, one of your newbies, right? Well, that makes sense. I haven't gotten any IDs. Once it's there, there's a maximum of 10 uh, newbies that you can put under your wing and uh, hopefully see them go into the second section which is saying if they have reached rank 30 or not why does it matter if they reach rank 30 well that's because of the rewards you can get for doing this invitation system for the senpais if you successfully link one person you will get five orbs and a six star 
gacha pull, a single gacha pull. That also applies for the tenth uh, newbie you link up with. Now, of course, second through ninth, you will still get five orbs for each of them, but there's no gacha reward. So, right? First person, five orbs and a gacha pull. Yay! Second through nine, five orbs. Tenth is five orbs and a gacha pull. Okay. Great. Now, I was saying, why is it important for that newbie to reach rank 30? Well, as an additional reward, if one of those 10 reaches rank 30, you will get another 6-star gacha pull. If a second newbie does it, you will get another 6-star gacha pull. Now, if a third newbie gets to 10, or rank 30, out of those 10, then you are getting a 6-star guaranteed new monster gacha. Right? So if you do this right, you can get four, no, five gacha pulls with one of them being a guaranteed new monster. Now, you will have to make sure that that newbie you linked up with actually takes the effort to get to rank 30. Rank 30 is not that difficult, but it does require some commitment to do. So you gotta hopefully help that person along. Use, you know, hopefully you have a monster that has like the EXP S++ berry. Play along with your friend. It should not be that long to get them to 30. Yeah. Now, do you note that there's no additional rewards after the third uh, newbie reaches rank 30. So, once you get 3, you've maxed out your rewards. Now, it's not just for the senpais. The newbies get rewards too. Just by finding a senpai to link up with, you will earn 5 orbs. 10 Morling Kings for each stat, right? HP, attack, speed, and then 10 max piece for each element. So this is going to be really nice to help you get started, you know, growing your monsters to their max level and plus values. Now, once you find a senpai, you are eligible for rank rewards. Right? Again, this is as a newbie, right? As a newbie, you found your senpai, you've reached rank 10, you'll get two of each of the divine insta ascend and insta transcend trolls very good to making sure that you can get a monster that you pulled to its uh, potential. Rank 20, 10 orbs. And rank 30, you also get a 6 star gacha pull. So, however, let me reiterate that you will not get these rewards unless you find a senpai. Right? And keep in mind, if you do go over the threshold of both rank 30 and playing for 7 days, you lose all of this because you turn into a senpai after that, right? So make sure you find a senpai while you are a newbie, right? Alright, now of course I was saying the gacha rewards, these are single pulls and since they are free, right, you are not spending orbs to do this pull, it doesn't affect the Hoshidam. Um, it obviously will not include any limited or collab monsters, so it's just the general pool that is going to be available for this gacha. In addition, it only includes monsters that were released up until July 1st, 2021. So any of the super newer monsters that will be coming out will not be included. And they said in red in the text that there is no intent to add any monsters to this gacha in the future. So there's no reason to ever wait to pull this. Just pull and hope your luck is good. And that's the new system, so um, if you have any questions, of course, let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. But let's move on to the next rewards, which I also think a lot of people were looking forward to, is the expansion of the Max Luck rewards. Now, of course, you can always see what these are by clicking the rank button on the top, hit the bonus tab in the middle, and then scroll down to this area on the bottom where you see some lovely pictures. And then you can see, oh, okay, how many max lux does it get to di does it take to get these different rewards? And you can see that after 300, we've gotten a new set of rewards. Now you'll see a lot of soul points here, right? I think that's almost 90,000 that you can get. Yeah, 90,000 with um, reaching up to rank 480. Uh, but there's also some nice ones here, right? You get some miracle mins. Here you go, 330. This will increase the um, limit of you know, helper items. Um, this one specifically, specifically for the plus two treasure chest and the 100% gauge shot limit. Um, this uh, increases their maximum values from 10 to 12. Um, 340, 
increases the chance of you starting the stage with all of your monsters with their strike shot ready. And oop, 350, I forgot to translate, but that's an era berry ball. You can see that on the picture here. Uh, 360 increases your metal limit count. At Before then, it's at 200k. It will be increased to 250k. Um, let's see. 370 more soul points. 380, we got a food or biscuit. 390 is again for the helper items. This one uh, pertains to your maximum HP increasing by 10k, uh, reducing all enemies on stage 10% of their HP. Those items limits are increased from 6 to 8. Once you reach 400, you are going to be able to do a single pull on the gacha, which gives you the possibility of pulling limited. Uh, 410 is more soul points. 420 increases the metal count to 300k. 430 further increases the chance of your all of your monsters starting with their strike shots ready. 440 more soul points. 450, we got a waku waku stick. 460 is another item boost. This one pertains to the uh, every stage a heart will pop up or the guaranteed gold berry in the temples or the SP stage item for the specific um, Bakuzetsu quests. Um, those limits increases from 4 to 6. 470 gets you two Ableberry scrolls. 480 gets you another 20k soul points. 490 further increases your chance of starting with the strike shot ready and 500 is a nice cool 100 orbs for you. So that is the update to the max luck rewards. And again, like I was saying, that rank 400 reward does give you the opportunity to pull on a single uh, gacha here. And it this one does give you the chance of limited monsters. Now that doesn't include collab or time limited. So none of the alpha series are going to be here. None of the Christmas, you know, outfits. No, no, no. It's just a limited like the Kiki Jushin side, Cho Jushin side, DX, um, Oriental Travelers, the Elemental Gachas. They are possible gets with this gacha, right? Not guaranteed, possible. Now, again, it does not include any monsters after July 1st, 2021, and there's no intent to add any monsters in the future. So don't wait. Go ahead and pull. All right. There is a small update to the weekly rewards. Um, it starts with next week's rewards. So even if you check now, um, you will still see the old set of rewards here, right? Oh, no. No, 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 yeah. Um, oh, okay, okay. So it wasn't reduced to stamina. It was just um, a text miss. So I, I misinterpreted that. So let me just update that here. So I guess whatever they had on their uh, uh, news page was just wrong to start and I misinterpreted it as being a reduction. There you go. So um, 450 um, will now also give some stones and charles. So both before it was this the ugly ones here. You also get the smooth round ones. Um, as well starting next week 900 you see you can get all of the uh max fees but this will now start giving 10 of each of the morlings as well um the 1300 stamina reward is unchanged so that's still the same but once you get to 1500 um that will also give 2000 soul points now um in addition to the level score so um i mean they're, they're small updates but i'm not it's nice and you can clearly see that they are trying to they realize that they need to start dishing out the soul soul points so uh, that's uh, i mean it's smart and before we wrap up you know don't forget i already completed the quest so uh, is it going to be here no it's just gone but don't forget that every time you complete maintenance, there is a special maintenance quest available that gives you five orbs for clearing it. So make sure you host it and clear it because um, you won't get it when you join as a guest, right? You must host that quest to get the five orb rewards. Um, of course, a thanks for dealing with maintenance. And for this session, you have until July 16th, 3.59 a.m. Japan time to complete. That's not that much time, so please do not forget. Make sure you clear it and get those free orbs. And that is it. Of course, you know, 
maybe not too many in terms of numerical items, but they were pretty meaty, right? With the new uh, invitation senpai newbie system, and of course, just the expansion of the uh, soul badges is quite big, and probably something a lot of you will be looking for to take advantage of. Now the question is really, how many soul points do you have stocked up, such that you can maximize it? Who knows? Remember, you don't need to unlock everything at once, but keep in mind what your needs are um, and take advantage of it. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you need any more help with the update or anything else within the world of Monster Strike, leave a comment below. I will try my best to answer them for you. Otherwise, make sure you like and subscribe. That what That's what keeps me going. Um, I know there was a lot of stuff from Monster Strike news. Um, if people really want me to go over the transcensions one more time, I could, but that's what that video was for. So you can just go ahead and check that video at the end. Um, that's where all the fun stuff comes. And, you know, even though I was late, um, did go over everything one time. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.